Dravois Mining officially began cobalt operations with an opening ceremony near Salmon last week. In the next few weeks, we'll start pre-commissioning activities, begin feeding ore into our mill and the production of concentrate. Governor Brad Little attending the kickoff and praising the effort. And provide for the future of this country and future of the world as far as uh, clean, renewable energy uh, that's going to sustain this country and the world into the future. Many public officials want a domestic supply of critical materials like cobalt and lithium necessary for batteries and new green technologies. And in August, the Biden administration launched a $675 million infrastructure program to expand and support critical material supply chains here in the U.S. According to the White House, global demand for critical materials is expected to increase 400 to 600 percent in the decades to come. Most of the materials are mined and refined in other countries, leaving American industry at the whim of foreign supply chains. Despite the investment, changing that will take time. Australia and America have a long history of collaborating together. Gervois Global Limited is based in Australia and listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. You know, the Australian company of Gervois owns three assets. It owns Idaho Cobalt Operations, the Cocolo Refinery, and now the San Miguel Polista Refinery in Brazil. At this cobalt mine, the material will be shipped out of the country for the next step. But there is currently no U.S. domestic cobalt refinery. The 2,000 tons of cobalt concentrate produced annually will be sent to the company's refinery in Brazil. Can you give me a, an answer on, you know, how much cobalt will stay in the U.S. versus maybe traveling and being sourced to other countries like Australia? That's certainly possible. It'll obviously depend on on how what, what the markets look like then and where the demand for cobalt is. But that is certainly one possibility is that that metal would all come back into the U.S. In the mine's lifespan of seven years, we expect to produce enough cobalt for the batteries of 2.8 million electric vehicles. Some groups have expressed reservations. It's not necessarily the, the mineral itself that's of concern, but it's more of just the, the impact that a large scale mine can have on the ecosystem. Idaho Rivers United is an environmental watchdog group tracking the uptick of cobalt and other mineral mining explorations. You know, our organization really focuses on the river health and river conservation across the state. So if there is a mine or a project that has potential to have some negative impacts on water quality or fisheries, those are just the things that um, we kind of get a little bit more engaged upon and um, stay involved with. Now, with increased interest for mining critical materials in Idaho, such as cobalt and lithium, it remains to be seen just how much the United States and Idaho will ultimately benefit from the extracted resources. Geneva Zoltek, Idaho News 6.